Armenia and Artsakh now have one more land link, the Vartenis Martakert Highway. The third such project to be implemented by the Hayastan All Armenian Fund was officially opened in September 2017, following nearly four years of construction. As we celebrate our 25th anniversary this year, we take pride in the fact that we've been able to build one important highway in each decade of our organization's history. The first was the Gori Stepanakert Highway, it was followed by the North South Highway, and now the Vartenis Martakert Highway. Dignitaries attending the opening of the Vardenis Martakert Highway included the presidents of Armenia and Artsakh. The ceremony was presided over by Hayastan Al Armenian Fund Executive Director Ara Vartanyan, Artsakh Minister of Urban Development Karen Shahramanyan, and Armenian American benefactor Antranik Baldasarian. I'm so happy, so thrilled, and feel so honored by the fact that Armenians from across the globe provided their generous support, as a result of which we were able to open this highway today. If we will it, we can make it happen. And the proof is right here. When we Armenians join forces, we can accomplish great things. It was by joining forces in a spirit of unity and with a profound sense of responsibility with regard to the future of the homeland that the Vartenis Martakert Highway was built, with support provided by donors from Armenia, Artsakh, Russia, the United States, Lebanon and Iran. Substantial support for this pan-Armenian project was also provided by the governments of Armenia and Artsakh. We're very proud of this highway and the fact that we've contributed to its construction. We showed the world that we are united, that we're able to achieve great things and will continue to do so. It's been a challenging project, but everything went without a hitch. We think we were able to build a wonderful highway. The highway is 114 kilometers long and 11 meters wide. Its construction has included the installation of drainage grates and pipes, embankments and crash barriers, as well as the refurbishment of 17 big and small bridges. Of course, there were many engineering issues to deal with, considering that the highway had to cut through numerous mountains in zones where no roads had ever existed. Sarkis Kotanjan, the executive director of Armenia Fund, says that the care and conscientious approach of the Hayastan Al Armenian Fund are visible in every single section of the highway. Everything has been done to make traveling on the highway safe and comfortable. It's a road that was built to the highest possible standards. Parallel to the construction of the highway, power lines were refurbished, irrigation networks were built, and the roads to the village of Chapar as well as Dadivank were paved. Today, tourists can reach the ancient monastic complex of Dadivank with no difficulty, while their first and most vivid impression starts with the road itself. It's wonderful. I never imagined that we would travel on such a great road. It's built very well and features a complement of improvements such as traffic signs. It was a very comfortable drive, so unlike the old road. What we saw is not an easy project to pull off. This is a major accomplishment. It's a source of great pride for us. We witnessed it, saw it with our own eyes, and were filled with joy. What a beautiful road it is, so smooth and comfortable. We needed this highway. We needed it very much. The tourists say they can't wait to relate their great impressions to their friends and families back home. We saw it with our own eyes, and it must be said that every penny has been spent for its intended purpose. The support of the diaspora is not being wasted. This is a great achievement for Artsakh because, as it's been shown by the history of the United States, no country can develop without roads. Roads are the most crucial element for economic development. Vartenis Martakert is already a bustling highway, used by tourists and locals alike. Sitting in front of her home in Artsakh, this grandmother prays for the future of the Armenian people. 
May God bless our youth, our soldiers. May he grant them a long life and happiness. May every good thing in life, happiness and victory be ours.